Hi, it's Renata here. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel, The Quanti Girl, where we are going to talk about some topics in quantitative finance, in applied and pure mathematics, aging programming, especially in Python programming, because I'm a PhD in mathematics and a financial quantitative analyst and I'm here to share with you some of my experience. Today we are going to talk about your risk neutral price. So just keep watching the video and we are going to talk about it. So today we are going to talk about risk neutral price. For this, we are going to talk about risk neutral probabilities and then the prices are determined by the market. The risk neutral probability measure is configured in an artificial way so that the expected value of a given contingent claim under this probability measure matches its market price. Theoretically, in mathematics language, we use the Girzanov theorem to convert from a fiscal probability measure P to the risk neutral probability measure Q. Using Girzanov theorem, you add a drift to the Brownian motion dynamics under the fiscal measure P to get the new Brownian motion under the risk neutral probability measure, and so. Uh, this drift is estimated from the available market price data. Let's build an example here to illustrate the concept of risk neutral price. So let's bet on a fair coin toss. You get $100 if head and $0 if tails. So the expected value is $50 and if you are risk averse like most of the people, it's unlikely that you will play this game paying $50. But if, unlike most of the people, you are risk neutral, then you pay $50 for $50 of expected value and $0 expected net payoff. What I'm trying to say here is that it's not necessarily a positive expected net payoff for a risk neutral player to play the game or at another context accept the risk. Suppose you pay $25 to play the game. If you were risk neutral, you'd be assigned probability of 0.25 for head and 0.75 for tail and you get an expected value of $25 and an expected net payoff of $0. So if you can convert from this probability measure 0 0.5, 0 0.5, I mean 0.5 for heads and 0.5 for tails to a risk neutral probability measure that assigns 0.25 to heads and 0.75 to tails then we can price this asset with a simple expectation. So the point here is, if based on a set of outcomes, you can find the risk neutral probability measure for an asset, then you can use this probability measure to price in an easy way other assets as an expected value. That's all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit the like button because it helps me a lot. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch the next videos. So, see you guys next time in the next video. Bye!